everyone who gets used to Vasco da Gama sooner or later comes up with the idea to show a spinning globe like you are seeing here in the preview window and they will fail at the first or second attempt because it seems that Vasco da Gama doesn't like the idea and behaves strangely. The task is simple and the solution is even as simple and in this tutorial I will show you how to do it. First we have to take a look at the system of longitude and latitude. So let's have a look at this image. This is a map of the world obviously and the grid of lines here you are seeing are the latitude and the longitude lines. So the latitude lines are the horizontal ones and the most famous is this one here. This is the zero degree latitude and going to the north the degrees go up until 90 degrees here above at the North Pole and to 90 degrees south here at the South Pole down. So we start with zero degrees in the middle up to the north until 90 degrees and down to the south until 90 degrees south. The same applies to the vertical lines. These are the longitude lines and here this one is the zero degree longitude which goes straightly through Greenwich and we go to the left side to the west until we reach 180 degrees west here on the leftmost side and respectively we go to the right to the east until we reach 180 degrees east on the rightmost side. So this is the mathematical world in which we are moving and now you have to imagine that Vasco da Gama gets this map and wraps it around the globe and that means that the leftmost border comes directly in contact with the rightmost border and what when the globe is spinning seems like an endless tape it's really just a map with a left border and a right border so at least mathematically we have still this border and this is what causes the problem in designing a route which goes around the world. So let's jump back to Vasco da Gama. Before we actually can start our project we have to change a general setting. We find it in root and here the rightmost icon the settings for the line progression. Here we find the parameter of for the calculation which is by default set to autodrome and we have to change it to loxodrome. This is very important and the difference is simply said with autodrome Vasco da Gama draws always a straight line from one root point to the next and with loxodrome it takes in account the curvation of the earth of the globe. So when the calculation is set to loxodrome the lines between the routing points are not longer direct straight lines but they are curved around the globe. Okay after this preparation let's start uh, our project and since we would like to see a spinning globe I will draw a route that goes around the world but I will do it on the zero degree latitude to make things a little bit easier. Remember the, the latitude of zero degrees lies more or less at this point here and goes like a belt around the globe and I will start our route at the longitude of zero so at the point where the two zero latitude and longitude lines cross each other. That means that for all supporting points of our route the latitude will be always zero because all our route points will lie on the equatorial latitude 
and the only thing that is changing is the longitude. So now you will be wondering how can we put the starting point of our route at the zero zero position because if we create a starting point it will be in the center of the screen and the zero zero position isn't available in the GPS database but it's exactly the GPS database that we will use. Remember we have here a function create a waypoint on GPS coordinate. If we use it we get the normal dialog window where we can search for a city in the GPS database then click them and use the coordinates of that place but we too have the possibility to enter here directly the coordinates and you can see here this is the normal coordinate system which means here 71 degrees 33 minutes and 36 seconds east and 36 degrees 43 minutes and 12 seconds north so as I told you we will start at the zero zero position so we would introduce here zero degrees zero minutes zero seconds north and the same here on the longitude but since we have to introduce always three numbers we can make our life a little bit easier if we change first program setting I will cancel it at this moment here and enter the main settings and here we have the representation format for the GPS coordinates by default it is set to degree minutes and seconds and now I will change it to decimal degree except with OK and now I will create our starting point and you see that now we have only one number here 71.560001 degrees so our starting point will be at 0 degrees and the longitude 0 degrees 2 and since now we have only a degree and not the information of east and west and here north and south our values will go from minus 180 for 180 degrees west to plus 180 representing 180 degrees east and on the latitude side exactly the same 90 degrees north will be 90 degrees and 90 degrees south will be minus 90 degrees okay so our first point the starting point of our route will be at zero zero we won't create a text at the stopover point I will deselect it and press OK now that we have a starting point for our route we need an ending point and since the route should go from here around the globe and end here again so the first attempt would be to create a second point just here and you see directly the behavior of Vasco da Gama Vasco da Gama doesn't take the long way around the globe to connect the two points it uses the shortest path directly and that isn't what we need so obviously the simpler way doesn't work and the conclusion is that for our route around the globe we need a third point a supporting point on the back side of the globe just to force Vasco da Gama to take the long way for this reason now I will go back and I will delete this point and I will create a supporting point on the other side of the earth and we will use again the GPS database and remember here we are at zero degrees latitude that won't change the next point on the route will have zero degrees latitude too and the longitude here is zero degrees and since we are going to the right we go to the plus side and 
we end up with 180 degrees longitude. So let's create the second point again with the GPS database here we introduce zero degrees latitude and now as longitude I will introduce 180 degrees to place our point directly at the end of our map of our mathematical map so if I press now the tabulator you can see that Vasco da Gama changes this value from 180 degrees to 180.000001 and this is slightly more than 180 degrees that means this point here is not more on the rightmost edge of our world of our mathematical world but now has gone across the border and is located on the leftmost side and if we do it Vasco da Gama will get again the shortest path and will go to the left so we solve this simply by introducing 179 degrees that doesn't matter I will press OK so Vasco da Gama has taken us to the back side of our globe w I will jump back to the starting point of the route and now we need the third point the ending point of the route which really would be exactly the same like the starting point but that wouldn't work because we have to end a little bit on the left of our starting point so I would place now the ending point at the position minus one degree so let's do it let's add another point again at a latitude of zero degrees and at a longitude of minus one and that won't make any change regarding our animation so the route for our animation is complete and in the project settings I've set the calculation of time the total route time to one minute so that the globe spins more slowly with this setting you can set more or less the rotation speed and there is one thing left that is to get away with the yellow line of the route we do it in the route section here and we have to go to the starting point of the route and here in the route line parameter we set line off and now we can go to the preview section and see the animation of our spinning globe perfect of course you can turn the globe in any other direction for example not from east to west but from north to south in this case you would maintain the zero degree longitude and changing only the latitude values from minus 90 to plus 90 degrees if you simply would change the direction of the rotation then you can go to the tools section and use here the function invert the process of the route just click the function accept with OK and now you can see the globe rotates in the opposite direction this is actually very easy you can do it again and now have the former result now you have seen that the task of a rotating globe is actually very easy and the solution as easy as well one route with only three points and the only thing is you have to learn to think like Vasco da Gama does and then you can solve nearly any problem in this wonderful program